Hello and good afternoon once again. Today is Thursday, the 10th of June, 2021. So first of all, thank you to Dr. Afisamai for the Thai language briefing. After my briefing, we'll have a Thai language program uh, as well, uh, featuring uh, Dr. Jadet from the National Health Security Office to talk about the uh, insurance and compensation for those affected by vaccination. And uh, we will be having some uh, summary of all these uh, programs for you, for your information in the English language version. So I'd just like to start off by saying that Dr. Pisamai had outlined the approach in terms of the active case finding which continues in Bangkok and in uh, certain key provinces. As we have talked about quite often, active case finding, uh, sampling of certain specific districts that are at risk. Now the method that was mentioned was using uh, sentinel uh, surveillance. Sentinel surveillance for active case finding which was actually shown uh, on screen in one of the charts in the Thai language briefing. Now this sentinel surveillance is actually the monitoring of the occurrence rate through the voluntary network of health professionals, laboratories, doctors, uh, in order to assess uh, the stability of the changes, the stability or the changes in the health levels in terms of the uh, infection rate. So we're using this and uh, all, of course all of the data is being uh, integrated and analyzed uh, with the health professionals on a daily basis. All of this in support of the continuous active case finding in the country. So I'll start off with the vaccination progress. We have administered since the 28th of February and yesterday on the 9th of June we inoculated 336,674 doses of vaccines increasing the cumulative number of vaccination to 5.4 million doses as you see on screen. So of course the numbers will go up and down hoping that it will reach high numbers and we'll, we'll, we'll be able to reach our target of 10 million doses in the month of June. The middle column that you see with uh, 1.2 uh, 1 million, uh, 1.225 actually million, uh, that is the cumulative number since the 7th of June, the first day that we had our mass national uh, inoculation uh, campaign. So we're targeting to vaccinate 712,000 medical personnel nationwide and over 99% have already received their first dose, while 84% of medical personnel nationwide have already received both doses. So that's a very good rate that we're going in terms of vaccinating the medical personnel in the front lines of this battle. We also intend to give vaccines to 12.5 million people who are at least 60 year old and approximately 557,000 of them have already received their first dose and the number is expected to increase in the days to come. As several recent clusters in Bangkok involves uh, crowded communities, vaccination efforts have therefore been focused in these areas. Uh, we'll have uh, some images for you to show about uh, some medical personnel uh, uh, of the Thai Red Cross vaccinating thousands of people in residential areas in the Klong Thai district in Bangkok. And for those of you who live in Thailand, you would know that uh, this district is kind of a congested uh, district, Klong Thai district in Bangkok. So we have some Im recent images of you uh, for you there. So the numbers, I'll move on to the numbers for today, the 10th of June, 2021. We have new recoveries that exceed new confirmed cases again. That's, very, that's quite good news, hoping there will be a trend. New recoveries recorded today, we have 3,035 new recoveries. Those discharged, sent home after being treated and cured, 3,035. We have new confirmed case, 2,310 new confirmed cases. The active cases, cases still being treated currently is 46,876. If you've been watching the briefing uh, on a daily basis, you'll notice that this number is steadily getting lower. New fatalities, quite a number today, uh, at 43 new fatalities, making the cumulative 1,375. 
uh, just touching upon some of the uh, priorities that we have been going through. Firstly, is a force with markets, and Dr. Apisamai talked about this. Most recently, in the past, in the span of the past two weeks, actually, we have checked on approximately 62 uh, markets uh, in the Bangkok area. And as if you recall, the um, municipal authorities, for example, of Bangkok, have been looking closely into the various markets. So in the past two weeks, around 62 markets have been uh, checked and have been uh, looked into. Uh, around five of these markets have not passed the standards set, and of course, improvement is uh, forthcoming. Now, this is only in the past two weeks. In total, there had been a total of uh, 289 uh, markets um, al already, I'm sorry, 379, 379 markets that have been uh, checked on already in, in, in the Bangkok area, and 289 have already passed the standards set by the municipal authorities. So quite a good number, a good uh, implementation, good, good enforcement of the various health standards in the wet, wet markets in Bangkok, which is, is of course very important because those are some of where, some, some, where the, some of the clusters have come from those uh, particular areas. As well as prisons and penitentiaries, if you recall, uh, in the past few weeks, the numbers are, were quite high in the prisons in Thailand. Right now, those numbers are getting lower because of the active case finding, because of the authorities addressing the situation directly in the prisons and uh, penitentiaries. So because the Department of Corrections have continued to step up the measures to curb the spread uh, among inmates um, following the recent outbreaks uh, in the past weeks, so these um, initiatives include, among others, the conducting of the uh, PCR, RT-PCR testing for all inmates before sending them into the quarantine area. And if infection is detected, individuals will be sent to the hospital. Uh, secondly, vaccinating inmates and officers at prisons across the country, that has been going on. Thirdly, inmates who are due for release will have to be in quarantine before they leave the penitentiaries as well. So that's a good update because the numbers in that area in particular have seen a steady decrease already in the prisons and penitentiaries. Dr. Apisamai also spoke just now about the opening up of schools, particularly Thai schools. So for your information, I believe that there are, there might be some foreign nationals, foreign teachers uh, teaching in Thai schools as well. So the Ministry of Education has made the final decision for schools to open on the, for the first academic term on Monday, the 14th of June, 2021, which is next week, next Monday. But for the maximum and strict controlled area or the dark zone area, such as Bangkok, Nontaburi, Batum Thani, and Samut Prakan, on-site teaching is not permitted in accordance with the CCSA's directive. Instead, teaching will be conducted online or using documents distributed through parents. And for the remaining other provinces uh, outside of the dark red zone, on-site teaching and learning uh, could be conducted as deemed appropriate by the respective provincial disease control uh, department, uh, sorry, committees, pro uh, provincial disease control committees, which is chaired by the governors of each province. And if approved, permitted by such committee, it will be conducted under, co conducted under strict COVID control measures. So that's about the schools that are about to be opened uh, next week for the Thai schools across the country. So I'd just like to draw your attention to just some smaller, smaller pieces of information before closing that might be interesting to the English language audience today. The upcoming World Blood Donor Day, which falls on the 14th of June as well, it's an opportunity to raise global awareness uh, of the life-saving nature of blood. And this year's theme is Give Blood and Keep the World Beating. Of course, we have to continue to cooperate and sacrifice a lot to keep the world beating and rid the world and rid Thailand off of the uh, COVID. So Thailand is participating in this event. And since the situation has affected a number of blood donors, the Thai Red Cross Society is inviting those interested to donate blood to mark this occasion 
from the 12th to the 17th of June at the National Blood Center of the Thai Red Cross Society on Ongri Dunang Road in Patumwan District in Bangkok. And the center could accommodate 1,500 donors uh, daily, of course, with the important uh, uh, distancing measures. And this can comprise of 1,000 1, walk-ins and another 500 donors with advanced online uh, appointments through the bdbooking.nbc.in.th website. So basically, this is what I have for you uh, for today. We'll start off first with the vaccination numbers. We'll keep you informed, uh, updated about that. As you can see, there is a good trend of more recoveries than new confirmed cases. And hoping that uh, there's no there's no relation actually, but uh, if you do the math, that means that the cumulative number or the active active uh, cases uh, still being treated uh, will be getting lower in in due course. And of course, in addition to the vaccination drive for this month of June. So thank you very much for your attention, and we'll see you again tomorrow. So the cup. กลับขอบพระคุณค่ะท่านนะทัพพนุนพระคุณรองอธิบดีกรมสารนิเทศและรองโฆษกกระทรวงการต่างประเทศนะ